it's easier to protect the rhinos when they stay together. When the herd splits, the operators do everything they can to keep up. Often, it's only possible to stay on one of them, leaving the others unaccounted for and vulnerable to poaching. When this happens, everyone in the unit takes to the bush and an all-out search begins until they're found. So we've just had a call come through for a fire, a house on fire, neighboring to our conservancy. Um, the wind is blowing east and is gonna pull the fire on the western side of the farm right into our conservancy. So we're gonna go and have a look. All stations, all stations, Charlie Tango. Um, we have a felt fire on the, by the Taylor gate. All stations stand by to assist with felt fire. Charlie Tango over out. Carl arrives at the scene of the fire met by the family dog. He makes his way to the house to see how he can help the occupants and make sure that the fire doesn't spread to his reserve. In the field, gunshots from a neighboring hunting farm spook the rhinos. Sent a message, APU. We can hear those gunshots, but it seems like Outside the farm, maybe it was sight. Back at the house, the residents are still trying desperately to extinguish the fire and save what's left of their belongings. The gunshots scatter the rhinos, and the anti poaching unit only managed to maintain visual on one of them. The other two are unaccounted for. They radio for a tracker to come and assist in locating the remaining rhinos. Carl and Mystique walk off into the bush, looking for spur and anything that resembles a rhino. After countless buckets, Carl makes sure that the fire in the house is out before he returns to the reserve. It's important, help the community, you know? Help the community, stand as a team, work together. Deal with the problems, it's what it's about being one team, right? At base camp, Henning gets his weapon ready and checks his radios are working. He's heading out with the tracking team to do their part in the search. They start the search at commonly used locations, like a thicket, where the rhinos often sleep. It's a good guess. After some searching, Timber spots the cow sleeping in between some trees. She's barely visible in the bush. Also, what we did now, um, I put the other two team members in an all round defense around the assets. Um, it's no use just looking at the rhino and watching the rhino. You have to be vigilant with the protection of the rhino. Cool, now reporting the fire, all under control. And um, the flames are out, uh, the other fire rig is here. Carl takes a replacement unit to Henning's position to guard the car so that the tracking team can continue their search for the bull. APU, you need to stop me um, at a safe distance. I do not want to disturb the assets, so be vigilant of my approach. The men gear up for the night, and Carl makes sure that the shotgun is good to go in case of a contact. It's important that we have eyes on the assets throughout the day and uh, absolutely essential that by last light, sunset, that we have eyes on so when our night shift comes onto duty that they can be put directly on the protection of the rhinos and they can follow up on the rhinos from last light through the night through to the next morning to hand on to day shift. As Henning walks into the bush, he notices that tonight is a full moon, also known as a poacher's moon. Moonlight makes the rhinos far easier to find in the dark, but also attracts poachers. Henning walks on a path leading to a dam and spots rhino spur. The bull came this way recently, but the clock is ticking with nightfall fast approaching. The sun finally sets. And with everyone out in the field, Cole and Diego will work alone tonight. 
the moon's nice and bright, so we're going to have good visual out there. We're going to move out on foot. We're going to keep it nice and quiet as we move. We're going to be established in listening posts. So we establish listening posts, we go quiet. Um, I'll be watching how the dog signals, They're watching for dangerous game, approaching dangerous game. It's big fire voucher and a lot of, lot of potential threats and real threat, real threat being uh, personnel elements, our poaching syndicates operating thoroughly in the area and we want to pick up uh, early on them. When you walk in on the, through the bush and on the ground, you make so much noise from your own movement that you can't hear the movement of others. So it's uh, who hears who first game. If um, the syndicate and the poachers hear you first, you've got a good chance of walking into an ambush. Um, if we hear them first or a dog picks up on them early, uh, we can establish an ambush and we've got a good chance they walk into us. So I'd uh, rather be in the ambush than the one walking into it. So I don't like walking on the animal routes themselves because it's very prone to walk into an ambush. So I like to deviate away from these main roads and main paths. After walking for miles trying to pick up on Spur, Cole notices a change in Diego's behaviour. He's signalling that something's up ahead. They cautiously move out on a dirt road and immediately pick up on Rhino Spur. Without warning, Cole walks straight onto the bull who's hidden behind a small dead bush. He knows Cole's there and doesn't seem too happy about it. It's a stalemate. Any sudden movements could cause the rhino to charge and with zero protection, it could be catastrophic. A tense game of hide and seek begins. Diego knows not to make a sound. All Carl can do is wait. Finally, the rhino moves back enough for Carl to make a break for it. slowly moves out and lays an ambush close to the asset. Meanwhile, the rest of the unit is still searching for the bull. Carl was picked up and is in the back of a vehicle. Henning's team is still searching on foot. Carl calls Henning onto his position so that he can take over the anti-poaching function for the rest of the night. They arrive after a long walk and get briefed on tonight's operation. Diego and Cole head back to base camp while the anti-poaching team settles in for the night. It's a full moon and the bush is bright, so they must be alert. By the time the sun's up, the three rhinos have reunited. For today, bull, cow and calf are alive and back together. Yesterday's operation was a success.